Off the top at 11, COVID campus isolation. It is a dilemma every college is having to face these days. Where to put students that test positive for coronavirus? New tonight, we're getting a first-hand look at what it's like at Grand Valley State University, the campus that has the most COVID cases in the state. News 8's Jacqueline Francis has the story. For GVSU freshman Elise Rapayko, it started with a positive COVID test and ended with an eight-day stay in the isolation dorm. Here's my bed, and then there's another bed right here. It's not the dorm room she moved into, but it's a space she's come to know well. After testing positive for coronavirus early last week, GVSU freshman Elise Rapayko reported her case to the school. Moments later, she got a phone call with her new housing assignment. No one was really helping me with it. They just kind of announced that I had to go to a different dorm. And then it was just my job to bring two weeks worth of stuff over to the building. And um, they said, once you go in there, you can't leave. The bear dorm room came with a bucket of snacks and microwavable meals. It also had a bathroom and kitchen area attached. Uh, I don't know what I was expecting, but it definitely wasn't really this. Elisa's setup is one of the 200 quarantine dorm rooms available on the GVSU campus, only a fourth of which are currently in use. The university housing director telling me they chose to spread the rooms out throughout various residence halls instead of housing all COVID patients under one roof. We didn't want one building to be identified as the sick hall or the hall that it, it is looked at in, in a weird way. But Elise will be the first to tell you life on the inside feels anything but normal. I was talking to my friends and I said it felt kind of like I'm in a mental hospital room. Like, because it was just everything is plain and just not right. <laughs> Additional services like counseling and meal plan delivery were recently made available to quarantine students. As university officials say, they're learning as they go. But one rule remains. There's no leaving until cleared by the health department. If they break or violate policy, that gets sent over to our Office of Student Conduct. We're not doing this as a punishment. We're doing this to maintain their safety. The good news is Elise received her all clear letter from the health department today, which she calls her exit ticket. It is important to note that students living on campus do have a choice of whether they quarantine on campus or at home. But Elise says she chose to stay as she didn't want to get her family sick. GVSU remains under a stay in place order through the end of the month. The school is currently reporting 359 active COVID-19 cases. Reporting in studio, Jacqueline Francis, News 8.